Hello friends, welcome to channel VR Artists here and this is Vasant Rao, artist and curator uh, moderating or holding this program. Friends, artist life is a huge canvas by itself where the artist discovers himself or herself with a particular subject, with the, with the lines, forms, concepts, philosophies, experiences of life, good, bad, uh, stressful incidents that guide him or her to the next level of creation of art. And in this <clears throat> process, we find the entire life journey where the artist has expressed himself on the canvas. So the entire body of work becomes his or her visual diary. So if at all you want to know something about the artist, if at all you go through the series of paintings that he has done throughout his life, that is one good idea to know about the artist's experiences. <clears throat> A retrospective <clears throat> uh, uh, event in an artist's life is, uh, uh, is I consider this as one of the important milestones in an artist's life where as a viewer, as a collector, uh, uh, as an art appreciator or an artist, <clears throat> this is an important or a, a significant occasion where we, we, we can, we can uh, revisit the entire uh, um, life experiences of the artist. Now, in line to this, we have uh, um, a great friend, Subramanian Gopal Swami, who's based in Bangalore and fondly called as Subras in the entire uh, uh, art circle. His entire body of work, the entire life canvas is uh, being presented and exhibited uh, as, a, as a retrospective show um, in the um, reputed Kinkini Art Gallery in Bangalore, which is headed by Vivek and Namo. And uh, they have done a fabulous and excellent job in this line. So regarding this ret retrospective experience, today we have with us Subras himself, who's going to speak on the various events at various stages of life, the various series that he did, and how life took important turns or and uh, and and guided for the creation of his work of art. So this uh, um, this entire three four episodes is going to be about the retrospective presentation of Subras, our dear Subras, who's there with us. A warm welcome, Subras. Channel we are Thank artists. You. Welcome. Thank to you, Atan. Vanakkam. Namaskar. Namaste. <laughs> I am uh, I am really honored. You know, uh, you are you are calling from uh, Sydney, Australia, and I am in India, Bangalore. Uh, such a nice uh, weather here. Uh, you know, it's a pleasant, and uh, the show is in Kinkini, as you said. Uh, retrospective show is very important show, as you said. Uh, start from uh, 1972, a third year uh, school, uh, college of art, school of well, art student. Yeah, well, uh, the well, first college. Yeah, uh, yeah. and uh, this is the 50th year, 72 to 2022. So it's a celebration of 50 years of college. That is what uh, Namu and Vivek they decided uh, as a name of this, uh, you know, theme and uh, celebrating 50 years of college. Subras like so that. This so this program, this retrospective show, is the fifty years art journey of, of of you. Yeah, mainly the collage because my first collage I did as yeah. a third year student. Yeah, and that collage won an award from uh, the great uh, Chitrakla Parishit only. <laughs> yeah. True. Yeah, you, you mentioned about that last time. Yes. So this is uh, in Bangalore itself. I am celebrating the 50 years also. That is also, you know, it's a, it's a great thing. After a long journey at different places, I was, you know, saying, finally come to Bangalore and, you know, this is happening. And I am so glad, you know, you, you, you selected me is one of the retrospective, uh, you know, artists in this year. Uh, thank you for that. We will. Talk it's, about it's, that. it's always a great pleasure, Subras, uh, to talk about uh, your experiences and uh, the way how you present your art. That's always yeah. interesting. And someone who has who has uh, really created important milestones in collage art. So yeah. definitely, uh, your name will always be in the history. 
in the next few years. Yes. yes, it will be. It will. Yeah. But coming back, uh, coming back, Subras, if at all, I see. <clears throat> last time also, I was talking to you, discussing yeah. with you about your 50 years journey. And uh, I remember you telling me, saying that I think in this 50 years, your art has taken five di different stages or important turning points. True. Correct. Uh, I remember you telling me like <clears throat> uh, long back when it began, I think the first stage of yours was something that uh, you wrote uh, or you, you created work on Inner Lines series. And from there you went to erotic art and then it was the she series from there it was about the the holy gods and goddesses of a, of a, of a culture and country yeah. and then the i think the recent most thing is like converting those 2d work to 3d sculptures yes so huge huge one but I, and i would like to visit each stage step by step so could you please okay. tell us something about those inner line series because just a minute before I can, I can, before you can start. Like, I was just going through the images of your artworks and uh, such bold, strong lines. I wouldn't say bold, but they are so strong lines, confident lines, and uh, it is so much full of aesthetics, a well composed, a well thematic one. Something which you have, uh, 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 it's it's straight away from the soul or connected to the. You know, to the uh, universal theme, by and large, if you see like. So they are not simply lines playing around. It's like it's a it's a my, I, I simply feel or I call it as holy lines. Even the other day when I was trying to uh, this thing about uh, Padma Sri Sham Sharma Ji, even the lines that you uh, that you can see on his canvas or his work also is something amazing. So could you please tell us something about this inner line series? How it started, and there was a phase where it stopped, and you went to the next stage. So, yeah. the start and the big, uh, the the end of that. Yeah, yeah, you are uh, absolutely correct. You rightly said this is very very important uh, series in my life. Uh, this is basically when I uh, when I lost my daughter at the very young age, she was nine years old. I was not doing anything, and uh, you know. Uh, I was in a disturbed mode, you know. So this, you know that when a daughter uh, lost. Uh, so my a friend of mine, he gave a book on uh, Guru Ramana. It's a book mm -hmm. name Guru Ramana by S. S. Kohan, a British author, who came to uh, Ramana Shram and uh, stayed with uh, Ramana Maharishi and you know observing all this uh, preaching and whatever you know the this one. And uh, he finally he observed after uh, Ramana's passed away in the 1950. He went away. He went back to London, and he wrote this uh, book, Guru Ramana by S. Kohan. This book, a friend of mine gave me, uh, you know, uh, as a healing process. You know, he, he said like that. So, bro, you go through. You know, you will be like that. So I was going through, and uh, you know, I completely changed. As a as a you know as an artist to uh, maybe a, a normal person, no headway, nothing is in the head. You know, you become very normal. You started loving birds, trees, everything on earth uh, instead of only human being. You know, like that. So uh, this this was there in the mind, and uh, uh, again when I was staying in Saudi, I was staying in Saudi Arabia at that time. No? I was working as a graphic designer. So early morning, I used to listen uh, the Makkah holy prayer. Who staying in the ground floor, yeah, Maulavi, and he puts cassette, you know, four o'clock before going to the mosque. And I was listening, and for me, it, it takes me somewhere. And uh, with Guru Ramana's, you know, the the words, uh, I started uh, imagining uh, the the things first, as uh, Vasudev once told. Now you have to process first in the mind. Then you put it in the canvas. It is easy for you like that. So it was coming like that, something like that. Then I started uh, the inner line series, and I had enough time before going to office. You know, maybe two hours, so that instead of one line, I can do many lines. These all the lines coming inside from me. So that is why you know I myself name it inner lines like that. You know, so it is the detailed thing. Uh, I think I was uh, that time, you know, another person. 
altogether. I'm I'm not G uh, Subramanian, you know, somebody else maybe I don't know. So these uh, things, you know, um, like uh, you know, there is there is no uh, uh, you know death. There is you know everything in the in the universe is changing the shape only. So many things, uh, you know, Guru Ramana expressed. You know, whether you have to uh, pray. Uh, with with Sanskrit or Tamil or something. No, no, no. You just pray. You don't have to, you know, sing. You just pray. You just pray the God, nature, God, whatever you call it, like that. So these things, you know, made me to do meditation for for sometimes. I myself did. I I never go to any, you know, gurus or something like that. Ramana Maharishi is my guru. So this process, I completely recovered the loss of my daughter. Completely record me another person, you know. So what I finally decided, she is living with me only. She didn't go anywhere. Only I cannot see physically, but she is there. So maybe that is the power, you know. So I I created very. Uh, I think uh, maybe two years I was doing this. Then the similar work, similar theme work won two major awards, which is Lalit Kala Academy State Award and All India Fine Arts and Craft Society Delhi, you know, IFAX. Millennium Award in the year 2000. So these are the thing, and the outcome is, as we said, no, it is extraordinary. Finally, one of the biggest art collector, Dr. Aziz Kurta from London, he bought these works, and it it went on Christie's auction. You know, this is the story of Inner Line series. You have the image with you, and uh, yeah. So in your Inner Line series, the lines were simply your emotions playing around or the thought process that was going on in your mind. So you can say yeah. it is just a physical dimension of your, your the so. emotions that's going through. Yeah, I think so. E even now I cannot create that, you know, that much, I don't know that much patience or I don't, I don't know, maybe the mindset on the strength on the, on my hand, you know, when I work continuously and the press, it is, it is, it is a process, you know, I did it in a, uh, tissue paper, a big tissue paper. I'm aware the company I was working. It's a tissue factory, you know, from whatever the US it comes. Then I draw with the, this one and I put water impress, you know, pressing to the canvas. It is like a transferring the canvas, you know. That is why that effect you can see. You know, the did spread have, from all this. Yeah. Did you have any specific idea in your mind saying that I want to create this forms or were you simply playing with lines? Uh, yeah, as I uh, as I said in an interview also, see, for you, you know, you make a line and uh, you mix the color and apply, you can feel, you can feel the canvas, you know, whether it is a gray uh, or, you know, tonal, you know, dark to light, you can. But for me, the lines only, I completely filled with the lines, you know, uh, instead of just a single brush stroke. I was maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes, one hour I wanted to do it. So it it, it, it happened like that. <laughs> maybe. And, and final uh, result, yeah, final result uh, is so uh, joyful, you know. And for how much uh, time or how many years did this series go on? Uh, yeah, this was, uh, I think, two years. Two years. Yeah, yeah. So, so uh, 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 can you say that? maybe this inner line series is the basic foundation of your entire body of work what you have been doing today i think so because that much patience even you know my my hand this area when i press you know it will be swollen like this so i have to wait another two days to come to normal and the pain again i have to work on the uh, on the on my company also a designer uh, i was not working on the system that time you know by hand only so then recovering, then I will start again because at this stretch we have to do, you know, in one sitting I have to complete. Correct. It's like a it's like a huge canvas actually, each one, you know. Correct. Yeah. And in these two years, how many works did you create? Um, I could do maybe two, six, seven, uh, maybe around ten maximum. Excellent. Yeah. And uh, uh, and of these, how many works are exhibited here now in the retrospective show? Um, you know, actually, one original on a on a board, you know, paper. I uh, because that was selected for national exhibition. 
so that mm -hmm. i kept as my collection you know except that all sold to you know dr aziz kurda that one is having but the great uh, vivek what he did he uh, copied that scanning you know and did a bromide print bigger size and he displayed four, four of them uh, plus this drawing so that the people can you know look at it almost like a original it is excellent. so nicely scanned you know yeah excellent excellent yeah it's, really yeah, it's so nice to uh, know about this the first series or the the prime yeah. and the, the the one which you started with this yes, and yes. Uh, i think from here you moved on to after these two years of gap you moved to your next series which may be like uh, uh which i would like to uh, discuss more elaborate on that but i think this was something about the first series about inner lines series from where oh, you started so. and how you did it yeah yeah very interesting very interesting yeah. thank yeah. you very much for this information so Thanks. friends you can you can go and view kinkini view this art work of art visit kinkini art gallery to see this uh, the first series um, by subras uh, i noticed this after the inner line series i think you created a a, a few artworks that was on uh, 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 on sex and erotism am i right yeah so yeah. Uh, um, how did this move from uh, from the free flowing lines or from the lines from there it went down to such a complex subject so the inner lines was something about where you it was a self realization process or somewhere which changed your mindset or changed you as a person but from there you straight away went on to such a complex subject about sex and erotism so how was this shift and uh, how was this uh, body of work in fact i should tell that i i've seen a, a, a couple of drawings a couple of artworks amazing very brilliant and very strong works so how was this shift from such simple thing to such complex one thanks Asun, for the compliment i'm so you know it's nice uh actually uh, another uh, book you know these are all the you know something because we were in saudi arabia which you know the very very strict country no alcohol no theater no like that True. so uh, this is also another book indian love paintings it called and uh, it is hilda hilde beck an american author you can see the book so this this book i was just going through as uh, normal uh, it, it is not normal mobile miniature painting of krishna and radha and you know the rasa leela or something like that it is mainly she she visited you know to collecting the works and she found some of the collectors having erotic painting of those period which is hidden you know which is in the royal uh, men mainly they used to see this uh you know like these days you know many films are so many things are there those time you know so they used to uh you know enjoy you know seeing these things with the men only you know uh but uh, what she wrote she is mentioning the vatsayana kama sutra or you know all the masters you know the rishis where they made research on uh it, it is not just a, a, a sex it is you know kama sutra is the formula of you know sex you know so deeply she made a research on that and she went through all the you know the the writings on sanskrit or whatever language it is and she uh, uh, book, uh, you know published this book and in that the end of the uh, you know the the color plates some of them are colored some of them are only drawing you know just like that they were in hurry to you know get get from the artist you know, this is what she wrote very funny way so this book i was just uh, i i thought it is a miniature painting only because we know in the college of arts we copied indian miniature painting mogul and gangra period but this one when i saw that it is so beautifully deep and uh, very very creative and this one what i did now this was this i was seeing and uh, i just kept the book and this in the mind you know it was going through and uh, it is so this is that means this is not it's it's like a normal uh, you know erotic book or sex book it is a sacred book you know you know it is a holy it is it is the uh, living earth you know that this is very very important for any living things you know it is 
another e extension of you know the, the, li the living things you know this is what i i thought as if you know looking uh, from above uh, you know bird side view i am seeing this like that i was in in my mind and uh, as you said now already my mind is like a spiritual base already is there so i thought let me try this you know so i started uh, drawing this uh, i enjoy because the the subject itself is a male female you know it is and uh, any human being to see such things they can study they can read in the books but seeing this as a art form it is it is an excitement even even uh, you know many of uh, my, my friends they, they saw that and super so nice even the saudi gazette uh, special reporter art uh, writer came to my house and uh, he, he saw that because I was planning to have a show in uh, India. Um, the show, uh, anyway, later the show inaugurated by S.T. Vasudev himself, and he appreciated like anything. And uh, so he wrote in a different way in Saudi Gazette article. You know, he he made it in such a way the beautiful art article uh, wrote. Uh, so these drawings are very 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 uh, important. Uh, as an art form, as a in, Hindu subject, you know, it is which is our specific subject, the Vatsayana uh, Kama Sutra, whatever you call it. Uh, so many uh, other names also she mentioned. I cannot uh, remember that in the book. It is it is clearly mentioned. But even though the purpose of the book is different, but I took in a different way. When we express, uh, we have our own composition, uh, our own uh, strength, line strength. Uh, and our, our own presentation. So these things. And um, finally, why I stopped is uh, when I display in uh, Bangalore as well as uh, in Chennai, very few uh, Europeans bought the work. And uh, Indians, mainly the women, liked it. But uh, they were appreciating like anything with a shy face, you know, the traditional Indian women, you know. But uh, personally, they told uh, it is so beautiful, bro. Because only thing is, I cannot, I can only display in my bedroom. Uh, but many of my children comes to bedroom, so you know this is the comment they said. And I don't want to buy and keep it inside as a hidden things. But anyway, I took the catalog. It is with me. I will be seeing this. And uh, good luck for uh, you know this show. Like, oh, I am not I understand that because even I, I, I work on erotic art series. Yeah. I know uh, I understand exactly what you say. But my, my, my question was, or I or still I would like to try to understand is from your inner line series to this complex subject, how did the transition happen? Because yeah, this, this is, is yeah, this is nothing planned like that. Mm -hmm. I was just going through, you know, th see, normally when we do certain uh, subject. Uh, especially, I am not a painter, basically, you know, I am a designer. I did my uh, graphic design only in the College of Arts also. Only I do painting to send the competitions, you know. Luckily, I was bidding wherever I send. I have no idea. Maybe the collage medium is new, I think. Uh, this is how even uh, even after a long gap, I participated in Saudi Arabia. A Madina Holy Mosque, I made it. I won an award, gold medal with a trip to Europe. 18 uh, days trip to, you know, Rome and uh, Paris and all. So. This is maybe because of the medium, you know, the collage is new. There will be hundreds, thousands of oil color, thousands of uh, acrylic, crayon. This one medium, you know, the judges, you know, they were all artists, you know, they just, it, it maybe it strikes, I don't know, I have no idea. So, time, you know, when, once you do certain series, suddenly you will think, we are, are we doing repeatedly? Like that, you know, like this thought comes. <laughs> then, Related to that, some other subject, why not? Like that, you know, this is what uh, it happened. Excellent, excellent. Yeah, thank you. Thanks. But uh, very brilliant work of art, brilliant compositions, brilliant lines, and uh, the, 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 the forms, the figure forms, yes. I should say that they are so full of aesthetics and strength. It really gives that, you know, uh, gives that the right emotion. It touches the right chord in the viewer. Yeah. That's very important. You, you are rightly said. I, I was, um, you know, these type of comments only I like. You know, I myself thinks like that way. Yeah. Anybody they think, but uh, um, 
you, you know they may not express i don't know that normal people you know but you rightly said yeah that emotions it is nice yes so uh, uh, very nice thank you very much for this information about your uh, uh, about this the erotic art series thank uh, you, you have done. friends do visit kinkini art gallery to view the the uh, the few uh, the images or the few artworks uh, on erotic subject done by subras fabulous work really fabulous and thank you subras for this information one of the most important incident in Subras's life is the unfortunate and sad demise uh, that is, uh, uh, of his daughter. And um, this unfortunate incident played a big role in Subras's life. Maybe uh, I, I remember Subras telling me that he became altogether a new person after this. And in this entire body of work, one of the important series in Subras's entire life canvas, if at all you see, is the She series that he worked on. And uh, in this particular series, uh, one can see that uh, the, uh, the, 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 the female form or a female energy, the divinity of that female energy, it can be in any form. It can be as a daughter, it can be as a wife, can be as a friend it can be as a mother uh but this but this divine feminine form uh subras really brought uh, that beautiful uh, uh concept on the on the canvas and uh <clears throat> always whenever i spoke to him i always found that this she series has been one of the deeply impactful uh body of work in his entire spectrum of things so Let's see. Let's let's hear to uh, uh, hear to Subras and find out as to what what are his views and what are his experience on this uh, she series. Uh, Subras, it's so nice, nice. I think last time we discussed something from the inner lines to the erotic artworks. But as I told uh, Subras, even last time also I mentioned when I saw your entire body of work, this she series one is something which has a lot of impact and maybe on you as an artist see there are many artists who have worked on uh, on on women series or female series and all but i think this one particular series has had a, a deeper impact or a deeper perspective in your uh, this thing this is what i feel i don't know about it so what what do you uh, uh, what do you think can you tell us something about this or the, the significance or the importance of this series Yes, and I, and I think this is uh, this series at the middle point of your life, somewhere the third series, from where you began to where you are here, somewhere at the middle point. I see your life. Yeah, yeah. He, he, as you said, you know, it is you rightly said. Yes, uh, she series. Uh, he, actually, my daughter, uh, her name Surya, and uh, she was born uh, 1984, May 19th, and uh, she passed away. April 17, 1994, uh, almost 10 years, 10 years, you know, one month less than 10 years. So uh, she was, uh, she's considered as child only, you know, 10 plus means according to our Hindu, this one, she's a girl, uh, means Correct. grown up, you know, otherwise child, we can call it. So the child is always goddess, you know, <laughs> child. Correct. And uh, when, uh, when I was, we were, at that time we were in Saudi Arabia, anyway, she passed away here and we, went back to Jeddah, continue my work. And my friends, you know, mostly the Hindu, Indian community, mostly the Malayalis and Tamil, you know, they they were uh, started sending their kids Friday. You know, Friday is the holiday in uh, Saudi Arabia. So they 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 said they decided themselves, you know, to change Subra's mind because I'm very important in our, uh, you know, the, the group. Any, any cultural program, I will be there to organize things, you know, like that in, 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 in Indian Embassy, Jeddah. Okay. So they decided and they called me and uh, Subra, we are sending our kids, mainly girls, maybe 99%, one or two boys. Uh, you have to teach them. Then I said, I myself is learning process. How can I teach these kids? Uh, no, 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 no. You, whatever you, they will be with you like that, you know. So then I understood, we, you know, my wife and my son, we understood, okay, to change our mood. They come, they stay there, they get, they go everywhere, they eat, they, they play, you know, they do something, whatever, you know, they could do. 
uh, when when i say rightly if i want to say instead of they learning from me i learned from them how you make it simplified life you know simple you know Correct. for for us if you want to make, if you want to do a lemon we were, we want a lemon yellow green pale green that green dark these things for them one round and one yellow finished lemon so this way even the even the human forms without anatomy they could draw so this made me more uh, impact and i was working uh, drawing with them also and uh, anyway i i have to learn i have to teach them also it is okay that is uh, you know one after few months i started teaching them that is okay they learned and in fact they made me so rich very fast so that i could resign and come back how you know i set no fees but they used to bring each time a yeah, closed envelope this also their plan you know sealed envelope and in the month end uh, you know they will give and go i never opened i just put it in my you know one one cupboard i just kept one day i was just opening almost i want to resign you know i just these things i, I want to tell you then before i go to the subject you know these are very important i just opened and i count that it's a huge amount 500000 riyals like that to each cover and you know and something like that i i really shocked i was in tears so i could make my uh you know exit very fast this is the reason also they they are like a goddess and they helped me to you know uh, come back to india to start as a professional artist anyway uh then uh, the she series again uh, the subject how you know they were sitting with me you know they were sitting in my lap close i am seeing them so close even though in the last two, uh, one year i was not seeing very closely my daughter because she lost her hair chemotherapy those things and sick and the hospital and this one so finally uh, she we lost her but these things made me again like you know um, freshly i am seeing even the girls smell i can smell them i can see the detail earrings hair clip everything become you know is a subject it is dominating you know then uh, the she series i just started you know detail face so detail it is it is uh, it was an acrylic on canvas initial even still in my show there are five six works are there acrylic on canvas uh, it's a drawing based then acrylic colors on canvas you know this was the this one and uh, then i returned to india with this not did any collage there only i did uh, uh, three collages i won award to a national level one is finally 2000 Yeah, this is the country's final award. Mm -hmm. I returned 2003. I was doing this. One day, my son simply just he told, "Dad, are you okay with your uh, she series?" Yeah, fine. Not that much, but it's okay. Why don't you do your collage? Then I said, "Collage? Who will buy?" Then he said, "What? Uh, he knows all the artists, you know. Sunil Das drawing they are buying, crayon, watercolor they are buying. Why not? This is this is the you were award winning uh, subject you know the medium he simply told me and he went he, he was the training in uh, editing you know in also somewhere he just left then i took seriously you see <laughs> there was a canvas my 12 by 18 size i made one uh, girl guitar you know with the guitar guitarist like that one i did the very next day one of my uh, art collector friend bharti chanana she called me and uh, she said uh, subra my second daughter gayatri is here she want to you know she is going back to london and she want to carry some small artwork if you have anything please come we have so many things you come then she came next day with gayatri and when they entered i just kept in my hall only i was doing i don't have studio that time in my house only i just kept that uh, you know the collage she she saw that she entered and uh, uncle is it yours yes mummy said that all you are doing in acrylic colors this is collage right yeah can i see okay she saw uh can i take this why not then she opened her bag and the 6000 she gave me uh balance mummy will pay you <laughs> like that then i said this is enough but because such a small one you recognized you accepted my collage that itself is a great thing so this incident is the starting point of collages in you know again 
uh, I was not that confident, but when I started doing it, first time in Space Gallery, uh, a group show, my work, four work sold. Then uh, there was a Lions Club or Grocery Club, something, auction. Uh, uh, you know, the uh, Prasad Bidapa, the fashion designer, he yeah. was conducting the auction. It went very high price. Somebody bought. And uh, one, which is on Anil Kumble, white bought. You know, so this is happening. And that time only Kinkini Gallery, you know, want to start in uh, 2004. I came 2003, June 26, 2004. Mm -hmm. November 9th is their group show, and I gave two of them. And uh, first to stay for Kinkini is that, you know, after Puja, 11 o'clock, the two were <laughs> sold. So Namu was calling me, Subra, good news, we sold your two. I was returning by, you know, auto. Yeah. After like walking. Then uh, they planned Vivek and Namu, they visited uh, my studio. They saw all the collages, small, small size that time, you know, uh, because I don't know how to use the roller to make it mm. bigger size because mm. it's the pasting is the problem you know bubble yeah bubble and this one again i have to trust to right. time to that. so the small sizes i was comfortable then they came all the you know around 20 25 works were there so yeah, we can do the solo show why not okay december you know 2004 they did around 30 works in the january month she sent a message that time no uh, uh, whatsapp and this one message so yeah, come for a payment bring a bag Okay. <laughs> yeah, I was laughing and I said, "Oh, maybe she's joking." I went by auto. Then uh, she asked, uh, "See, where, where is the bag?" Then I said, "What? You are joking? Then how you will carry this cash bundle?" <laughs> <laughs> you know. Uh, actually, I saw that with the with the with very happiness and the emotional, you know, I tear tears. I was sitting in a corner, you know, in tears. She said, "What happened, Subha? No, you have to be happy." No, 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 it's okay, it's okay. You know. So this is the big recognition. One thing is for my art as well as my subject she series, mostly she series that time, you know, all. Then some later I, I started doing Krishna, Buddha, like uh, the girl image one, you know, like a young mm -hmm. Buddha, young Krishna. So uh, these things, you see, then beautiful, beautiful, such a brilliant uh explanation and, yeah. and and what an experience you had with this it's very nice to know about this uh, uh <laughs> yes. series and from there how you then came to collage and, and then collage, krishna are, and this thing the goddesses and, and all and sizes also sizes also one day my uh, framer you know anand he came you know for delivering the frame to work and i was see he saw my i was pasting like that Sir, yes, yes, Martira, by hand you are pasting. Why don't I do roller is not bottle, like sir? Like that, he said, Yes, roller. I will bring it tomorrow. You know, he bullet it all the way from there. Morning, he comes with the roller. You uh -huh. see, yeah, as a gift. And he said, No, no, sir, this is my gift. Then uh, pasting is so, so easy. And one more thing is, uh, one day Namu called me and uh, he said, Subra, uh, can you do the Krishna life size? A boy Krishna, uh -huh. somebody from Hyderabad, uh, they want. I said, no, that much big size, how the material? I'm using, you know, the national geography, some small, small area. I said, no. I kept the phone and uh, after that, I remember in one magazine, there is a center spread page uh, underwater, a blue sea, you know, two uh -huh. pages. Immediately, I was thinking, oh, this can be Krishna face. So that it will be around four feet, we can make it. Okay, next day morning, I started, I made it, then I called her, uh, Namo, I made Big Krishna. That time again, you know, no mobile phone, photo and sending, you know. Subra, can you bring it, please? Yes. I went. She took the photo and sent it by email to her, sold. That was the work. Big size started because of Namrata, the Kinkini co-founder. And, uh, you know, uh, then uh, the bigger size started, comfortable. Yeah, the Buddha or Ganesha or all these, you know, the God images, uh, Lakshmi, Saraswati, you know, so three girls, two girls, sisters, like that, you know, this because different composition we have to do, you know, as an yeah. art form. One, 
how did how did your journey shift from this 2d to 3d because i often see that you have you work on a lot, lot of the sculptures which are very interesting yeah so converting a 2d drawing to a 3d sculpture also is very what do you say it's 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 um, it needs a little bit of calculations it's not something which uh, can go that easy now yeah. why did you why why did you feel that necessary or that necessity where you wanted to convert your 2D to 3D, come from uh, the collage or a painting to a, a, a sculpture. What was that? How was that? Uh, this is very, very, uh, very, very interesting. And uh, very, as you said, now it's a big turning point. And uh, actually, the sculptor with me is from the college period, you know, from the, I, I think I will send you the photograph of first year. Yeah, Correct. Uh, yeah, 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 terracotta horse I did. Uh, you know, as my uh, college project, you know, uh, yeah. I, I will be standing with the dhoti. That time, no, second day only I started wearing pant. pant. That also I asked my father in the village, you know, everybody is wearing pant, I want pant. Then uh, he gave me two bag rice and you so sell this, go to Sirvari and make, you know, <laughs> whatever you want. This is how. Anyway, so the sculptor, at that time our principal, a famous sculptor, Danapal, yes, Danapal, you know, from uh, College of Arts. Uh, yeah, you know, the people sculptor, he was our principal. Then, when he entered the sculpture department, our master was uh, again another famous Vidyashan Sapati. He was the uh, sculpture master. And uh, he liked he liked it and he said, uh, Subramaniam, why don't you take a sculpture as a special subject after two years? Because after two years, we have to take one subject as a main painting, commercial art, sculpture, you know, as a main subject. Great. Why don't you take sculpture? I said, No, 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 sir. I want to take commercial art because in in uh, my study time, you know, my father sold uh, the property. I want to, you know, take back my property. So I will do commercial art. I will earn money. Maybe a signboard painter. I don't mind. But I want to take my, you know, otherwise my father was insulted by the village people. Why don't yeah. you sell your property for the, you know, for your son's study? Is it important? This is important, you know. The land, the cultivation, you know, in the village, they they it is a matter for them. Correct. So that was in my mind, you know. So I do. But the sculptor is there with me. Wherever I go, any sculpture, if you see, even sometimes you post some of the our traditional sculptures, you know, I will be observing, adoring, you know, the details. It is it's a big part in India, mainly. Yeah. yeah. And especially in uh, in uh, the place where I studied, Kumbakonam. Very famous for uh, the Panchaloka, you know, uh, goddess, god the images they make in Swami Malai. Because of the river Kaveri, the mud is very good one for the detail. The Correct. last wax method they do, you know. I used to visit their uh, places, Nadraja and all they used to make. So this was in my mind. And uh, 2019, uh, I think uh, January something, we, we had a camp in uh, Delhi, Eastern Tourist Gallery. And a great friend of mine, uh, Jnana, Jnana Dikam from Singapore, you know, he was attending. In lunchtime, just like that, you know, he said, uh, Anna, why don't you do your uh, collage girls in uh, sculpture? Then I said, I want to do it, but how? You know, it is not a painting. It is side how it look, backside how she will look. You know, these are all, uh, it's, it's a big thing, Jnana. And I am very particular. I want to do it in bronze. Mm. We can do it. I will you come to Swami Malay like that, you know. Then after one month, it happened. He sent a you know, WhatsApp message that I am going to Swami Malay. Please join. Okay. Then I went, I went to Trichy by flight from Bangalore to them. From there, Swami Malay, I went, prepared everything and went, you know, making sketches before going, you know. I want to make, uh, you know, to, to see, just like that. Sorry, sorry for that. I, I did some small drawings uh, 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 for uh, for my sculptures see this see you know uh maybe you'll have to lift it a bit yeah yeah uh okay okay yeah. okay okay these are all small handbook just like correct. that I mean. yeah correct so side is how it will be like that you know i imagine it. it's a sculpture you know again i did some sketches sketches i went there i find there is a you know, he, he, uh, Arvind. Arvind, 
he studied art sculpture in kumbakonam school of art, college of arts he is from that family you know the the sabadi family uh, goldsmith you know so in goldsmith sabadi means they make only the god images okay anyway so it is in the family tradition and this one he and contemporary sculptures also he knows because he studied you know so he took very easily my girls you know the catalog and he saw and the sketches he saw clay handling is not that easy you know so the basic things he just made it within very fast then i did small 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 correction the detail i was doing finally the the center line you know for the collage i just separate and print and paste but here it will be inside or relief this is the you know little doubt Got it. first inside i made it is a black line you know then relief we did it become the you know my character so this is how one week i was saying and uh, uh it's a it's a big luck for me that two sculpture i did first you know sisters and their tambura girl singer okay so this two that time uh, one of my friend uh, deepa sitaram she is wife of sitaram ips they were ambassador to so many places and she is an art collector art curator also her friend one malathi rao malathi rao vadpalli she works in berlin indian embassy germany and uh, she requested a show from indian artist to celebrate 150 years of mahatma gandhi okay mm. so that time she selected me also with the five artist from india i am one of the five artist mainly collages you know but that time these two sculptures were ready with me and uh, i told her that i did uh, two sculptures in bronze uh, can i bring it subra i am coming to bangalore i will visit first it's a big don't send me the image i want to see first no i know they came husband and wife they came to my studio and uh, they saw wow this is something beautiful you know then uh, we will take this then i made a special catalog this is the catalog lovely yeah. and uh, front and back two sculptures then the detail all then this is front and back okay so this is the catalog we did and she is the deepa sitaram mm -hmm. you can see that she yeah, curator yeah, yeah. yeah. and uh, malathi rao the in this catalog i i i printed uh, my earlier terracotta sculptures and mm -hmm. i was sitting in uh, uh, Paris, Pablo Picasso Museum, you know, visiting. So this catalog made, and my two sculptures launched in Tagore Center, Indian Embassy, Berlin. See how lovely it was. <laughs> and uh, these sisters, there is one Ajay Bindra doctor family. He bought, you know, very interesting thing is after even you know one day show it is one day one evening. Now huh? it is around two hundred people crowd, and I made a demo on this one. she bought the, he bought that and uh, he requested me sabra uh, my house is very nearby can we go for a tea and come back i will drop you back around 7 o'clock 8 o'clock show finished yes why not then i went it's a big bungalow it's a nice uh, house you know old traditional uh, german house berlin settled there in so many years maybe and uh, when i entered you know i was hearing piano sound then i asked what is who is playing yeah is why we are coming you know two girls Since his daughters. <laughs> this is because of them. I bought them immediately, and you know, he dropped me like that. So, so this is uh, how. Uh, yeah, such a beautiful uh, experience uh, um, you have, Subras, and the yeah. and the ideas that you create, and um, is done. It's it's really brilliant. Uh, I I would request all my friends and art viewers to visit. Kinkini Gallery and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. view all the work of art that's been created by Subras. The entire body of art, all these years, a retrospective show, and uh, it was it is really great, Subras, talking to you and trying to know your entire. Uh, thank art you, journey. yeah. Thank you, Vasant, and good luck for your new uh, project and your new studio or new whatever you call it. Uh, my best wishes. 
and uh, when you come to uh, india please do visit we will have uh, you know a cup of coffee filtered coffee i can offer you and sure <laughs> sure, sure, yeah. sure that yeah. would be okay. great sure we'll yeah. be there thank you very much subhas for sharing thank your you. views and experiences thank so you friends, yeah so friends this was uh, uh, subramanian gopal from me his retrospective show is going on in bangalore at kinkini art gallery do visit the art gallery to view and know more about subras's work of art and uh, do like share comment and subscribe channel we are artists and thank you very much for being with us here thank you subras again thank you very much thank you